Hi everyone and welcome back to Scrap Edit Creations. Today we're going to be creating this adorable Halloween card. I got the idea and inspiration from my scrap chick. I will have those links on my blog, but let's get card making. So today I thought I'd share with you a card I made, and this is an easel card. So it's a haunted house easel card, and then the haunted house and guest pieces to go with it, which is where the ghosts and the little um, tombstones come in. I used a pen that's a little bigger than I normally would use. Um, my granddaughter was using my smaller pens, so I went in and grabbed the smaller pen so that I can redo this. Um, I need technically three of these. So I got it over um, on my scrap chick. They're very, very cute. It was $3 for the for each file. So it'd be $6 for both files, um, but it makes a really cute card. And it comes with these little cutouts. I've got a sheet right here. So you get all of these printables as well with the cut file. So that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to create this on screen because I need to do another one, of course. I'm going to do these real quick and see if I can do them better. I'm not sure I can. I do like it better. My handwriting is horrible, though. Okay, eh, not much better. Okay, so I've got these pieces and I'm missing these two. So I grabbed them from the other card. I'm, I kind of have moved stuff around and so things kind of got messy. There's so many pieces. So what I did with the first one was I took this piece of um, shimmer vellum from Lawn Fawn that I have. When I am out of that paper, I hope that they still have some. Um, next time I put in a lawn fawn order, I'll have to make sure I, I get some because I really do. Out of all the vellums I have, that is the one I like. So I'm just putting some mono tape. I don't have the mono air. I just have standard mono. And I'm putting it onto the vellum and then putting the vellum on white. Now, I did try to put... A vellum over this moon because I thought it might look really cool you could see the tape lines on the white you didn't see the tape lines except for there's something right there but I think that's just a smooch little smooch okay so then on here let me see here we're gonna have to go with the glue I'm gonna put the little noses on these are so cute there were some additional pieces that I don't know what they went for I'm going to grab my picker upper. Here we go. That'll help me with these little guys because they are so, so tiny. This one is on backwards on the mat. So I want the lighter pink. So I've used white and then the shimmer vellum. And then this right here is um, the light side of ballerina and then I'm going to put two more dots and something I forgot to do on my other card was put a white dot on the black eye so let's put these little eyes on here and then I will grab my gel pen and fix that on these as well as that one and hopefully I won't mess up Nothing like being on the actual project to make it, um, make that mess. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to grab, this is my scratch paper today. And it's got these little, just little eyeballs. There we go. Very cute. Oh, I've got to do their mouths. That was another area that I did struggle with. Let's put. Okay. I don't know. I might have liked them just the black. Oh, it gives them a little more personality. 
Okay, put this away. Actually, put that over there so I can make sure to do it on the next one. Yeah. Okay. So they did, and I will have a link to the blog post as well as um, both of these kits um, on my blog. But they did kind of like a, I don't know, scraggly mouth, I guess you could call it. And because my pen was a lot thicker on this card, it just kind of looked more like a smirk, I guess you would call it. So I kind of like the scraggly a little better. I'll set that pen right there by the gel pen. Okay, um, then his little hands. So I've got to figure out which side. There's the shimmer side. And I'm going to just put a little bit on there. And see, I need one that's got the big end. I'm just going to overlay this on here and then fix it because I didn't lay it on there right. Oh, goodness. So tedious. So worth it, though. Um, I like the shimmer, and the original one that I saw that I tried to copy as much as possible. Um, they left their ghosts very sheer. I didn't care for this sheer, so that's why I have chosen to make it a little more visible. Okay, so there's two little hands. And... But I am really liking how this works with the vellum. It's nice. There we go. It's sticky, but it's nice. And I like that you can't really see. Oops. There we go. Unless you get a big blob. Those you can see. So no blobs. Okay. There we go. So the hands are done. Those are done. I need to add ink to these. I didn't add ink to this on the original. I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to leave those and I need to add ink on these. So I've got intense black here and just a sponge bit. kind of rough it up a little bit not too much make it look a little aged and then these little guys just kind of put them at the bottom of this and then when I adhere them all together I'll put them on the sides as well on the other one, I did it after I put it on the, the piece. I want to do it ahead of time this time. And this one is the top one, so we want some at the top as well. And then we've got this little guy. And this one. And this one. And here. Yeah, that looks much better. And then where's the smaller one? There it is. I was thinking about it. I guess I could just do it as I do this. And I only need the smaller pieces to have it on the edges. These sides get kind of hidden in the card. I did use a lot of pop tape on this too to give it kind of the look I wanted. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop there for right now. And I'm going to assemble this piece because this one is one that did kind of give me some troubles. I got some little glueys. Okay. And as you can see, I'm just using some mono tape, and then the other thing I use is the wet glue. I kind of switch off depending on if it's a small piece or if it's a large piece. Oh, this is going much better this time. 
Okay, so then we've got this three scallop that's larger, just slightly larger. Not a lot larger, but just slightly. Um, we'll put this small one on top. There we go. Yeah, that was much easier to do ahead of time. Other thing I do need to do ahead of time because I did have to pull it up last time was this ghost and oh where are the little fence pieces? They've got to be over here. I see one. There's one. Yeah things got a little mixed up when I was kind of moving stuff around. So these will go on with just regular glue. So I'm going to put these on and I'm going to put the ghost on the one side because I did have to pull everything up to put those on. I thought they were like for the ground and they were a fence. They're not. They're for the top of the, uh, what would you call these? These just little roof pieces. Okay. Oops. I put that one on backwards. I want this side. Okay. Everything kind of gets lost on the mat too. That's why I really wanted to do the ghosts first because they're little eyeballs. Okay, dokie. Let's see here. I used my scissors last time and I trimmed that off because I don't want that to be visible. And then we will put this little guy on here kind of like that and then his little hands one's gonna go here and one's gonna go up on this little part right there okay so that's one side isn't that cute he is so cute. Okay, so set that up there. Oops, maybe. And this one up here. Very sticky. Okay, and then we've got... I liked him on the, the rest in peace. I pop him, um, but I don't pop the um, tombstone. I just pop... The whole ghost that's attached to it. Let me just put a little bit of the grass on there and then we've got his little hands to hold on to the tombstone. And I've got some adhesive. Right there. Okay. There we go. So that's that little ghost. And next we've got this piece right here. Let me get this taken care of because get these little pieces that are kind of floating around that are like, oh, I'm going to get lost really quick if you don't touch me. So this just goes onto this little step piece and it's hard to see it. I know. I'm so sorry. It's black right here, but it make sure I use the correct sides. There we go. So there's the little steps and we can put the grass, the other grass piece on that. There we go. Okay. This little guy, this is where these go. I cut these out of one of the mix-in papers. And this goes on the card base. We'll deal with that in a little bit. This part is for the door. Got some bats. We've got some little roof pieces and we've got these pieces. Okay, so this one is the top one. This is the bottom and this is the middle. So we want to put this kind of like that. And I had to kind of pull up on 
my side pieces because I put those on first, not realizing these went on before that. So hopefully if you plan to do this card, you know that you need to do that first. Otherwise you will be pulling up the side paper just like I did. Okay. Oh, and I also forgot once again to put these little guys on here. This one is this side. This was the other thing I forgot last time. So there's that side. And this is the wrong side. Let's see if I can, oops. Let's see, this one will work. Yeah, this one works, okay. And the nice part is because of the sides having the adhesive, I don't really need to add adhesive to these spider webs. So they're kind of free flowing like they would be in the wild. Okay, so this piece has an angle that goes this way. So it goes on this side. And then it anchors down that other side of the spider web. And then this piece has the angle that goes towards this side so that anchors down that right there so that's kind of where you're at at this point okay and then we can put these little ghost guys on here but we're going to pop these pop tape there it is oh you know what i'm going to use the round ones for this just two on each side and I don't have to put anything on the ghost because he's kind of free flowing. So it would just be putting stuff on there that would kind of make a, like a nothing behind it. So there wouldn't be a, a point to do that for this one. Sorry for my confusing words. Okay, so here we have the little spires or towers, however you would call this done this is a little off on the side i did use close to my heart so it's going to stick really good let me make sure i get that even more even i need to do it from this side here and it needs to go down a little bit okay that looks good very happy with that. Okay, I'm going to set that up here for a second and let's put together these windows. And I want the, the darker side. These go together very simple. You could always add some more, like, or even do these in white and add ink to them. I want this to be as easy as possible for me. So I have just done them in, this is honey butter, and I'm using the darker side. It's a little more um, glowy <laughs> for windows. But this haunted house has all of its lights on. That's why it's a haunted house. It's because of the electric bills so high. The people were shocked when they got the bill. No, I'm kidding, sorry my little humor on the electric issues right now. So this one right here, it's a little more of like a cathedral top. That goes on this one. And we need a pop tape. And then I think it's two pop tapes. It might actually be three. So we'll leave that at two right now. And then we've got these two little guys. I love the feel of this card. I think it's a really cute card. And I hope Miss Emily likes it too. And this one I will send to um, Rosie and Lucy. 
And then I'll make another one that I need to do for James and Nora. Okay. Let's see if I have any more of the round ones. I do. Okay, so we've got those. Now let's put the door together. And so let's see here. I want the light side for that and the dark side for the top piece. And then just put this on the black, kind of center it. There we go. So this piece is going to go here and I'm going to put it flat. The stairs will be popped and the, what was the other thing that's popped? Oh, the ghost and the, this little tombstone guy right there will be popped and all of the windows. Just kind of choosing what I think needs to be a little more popped versus you know like popping everything okay and this one goes here let's make sure that needs to come up a little bit okay and then we're going to put this piece onto this but i've got to put on this moon first so we'll put this guy on And then I'm going to pop this one to it. So just abusing my pop tape today. That's why it was, I need another one, I think, on the back there. Okay. I'll double check that this window when I get this on here. Yeah, sticky glue. I have to be quick with this one because I don't have a lot of wiggle room on it with using the close to my heart adhesive. Okay, there we go. Okay, so very easy. You know what, I am not liking how that little piece of spider web is sticking out. I'm gonna cut that. There we go. And then I'm gonna kind of push that down. There we go. I like that better. I don't mind a little bit of a wild one, but I don't want a huge one. Okay, so I'm gonna put pop tape on this. Let's see here, I did three, I think, last time. And it's better if I put it on the green, not on the, the back of the tombstone. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then, oh, that's right a little tiny bit of adhesive so that it kind of stays where I want it. There we go. Perfect. And let's work on this little guy. This one was two sets of it of pop tape. This is such a cute card and so easy once you get all the pieces cut. The hardest part really was deciding what color I wanted the papers. And I liked that they had used purple, and so I went with this purple. I had to use grape because, I think it's grape. Grape because I don't have the new royal. That's what it was. Yeah, so I don't have royal. Um, so I had to pull out my grape. And then however you want your little bats. I think I cut out like four bats for each card, but it really does look good just with the two bats up there. I'm going to... Put this on here. And then this will get some pop tape real quick. The more pieces you can have put together, the better. OK, 
Okay, so now over here, we're going to put this other little guy. And he also needs three. And then before I do, because he's a little bit bigger, I'm going to put some pop tape on the back of his head. I don't know if I need one or two. One looks to be doing fine. I don't want to cover up that whole window. Oh, no, one does not do fine. Okay, let's put this on there as well. This is definitely not a card you want to just pop in an envelope. This is like I'm sending a box to Emily. So this is perfect because I can just put it on top for her. Okay, so then on the back here, we have a lot of green. And I don't want to see green. So I cut an extra one in pewter. And there's definitely a way this goes on. And that's not it. So it goes this way. Okay. Now the card base, let's put our pen in here. Very easy to use. So it's got, I want the dark side, so I'm going to fold it that way. And then it's got this piece right here. Now, the mistake I made this last time, let's see here, I want this. I didn't put this piece on first. And that, I recommend just putting this on first. And then putting this on where you want it. Because it's a little more difficult once everything's on there to kind of mess around with it. I might be making this more difficult on myself too. Oh, I want this down a little bit. Out right there. Yeah, that works. Okay. And then pull out our trusty glue and glue up this little guy. You want to make sure that's good and glued. Do not glue on here, glue on here, because that tells you exactly where that line is. You only put glue to that point. I'm going to actually flip this over and do it this way so I can match it better. Okay. And there we have it. The cutest card on the planet. I'm so glad I was looking around for a cute little Halloween card. Um, oh, I want to take that poppy off right there. There we go. Um, that also needs three. I'm just glad I found this when I was looking around because this is a cute card. Yeah, don't do the way I'm doing. Count your pop tape before you have to put it down. So I'm starting to pull up like one of the slats. <laughs> there, we'll get it back on there and back up. Come on. Nope. Not all of that. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Again, cute card. Love this card. And they are very similar aside from the size of the, the mouths and the letters are a little daintier over here. Oh, and I need to put on this little piece. So we have, I have two different colors in here. One's kind of more grapeish, and that's what I want on this for the little doorknob. And then this one up here on this little spire piece. I could be saying that wrong, and I'm sorry if I am. Okay. So that is our card and it's really cool. I will have a list of all the papers I used as well as a list of um, uh, links to the paper and links to these cut files. Um, I don't get anything for them. I just, I just buy these things and love them and I'm sharing them. So here is our finished 
card here we'll just put one one up so you know it's a um an easel card um it just arrives this way it's such a cute card so happy with this so thanks for coming to play today and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day i will see you in the next video thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you soon thank you so much bye bye